got this spear point here. I'm going to put it in here. We're trying to heat up the end of it. Trying to anneal it, make it softer so we can drill a hole through it. Got so hard when we quench it, we can't do anything with it now. I ruined three drills, three drill bits just trying to drill a hole in it. There's our system there though, a plastic pipe going up to a hair dryer and there's Shannon helping out at that end. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors. Let's talk about a little project I've been working on here. I found a machete in the Chinese store in town the other day and I'm, I'm here in the Philippines on the island of Bohol and uh, it's a nice light machete good for cutting weeds things like that it's not quite heavy enough for trees um, the nice thing about it is it's was 169 pesos and that comes out to about three dollars and 84 cents and it even comes with a little nylon sheath but what I did was I just took with my right angle grinder cut a piece off shaped out a a blade and then ground it down and put a little edge on it ground the handle down a little bit smoothed it out uh, looks like it's going to turn out to be a halfway decent knife um, I thought I'd send it back home to my brother or somebody like that they're not pretty nice though and then for the the sanding and stuff all I, all I have for tools is a right angle grinder so I strapped it to a, a saw buck. Now I'll show you a picture of that in a second. That really worked out very nice. But that's all about all I have for you now. Just a afternoon project. Thanks for watching. And I use my saw buck. Put a flat log in there for a table. Then tied my right angle grinder down with an inner tube on a towel put a sanding disc on it and that's how it what I used to shape the blade to make the edge worked out pretty good welcome to Blind Now Outdoors today we're going to talk about the Corona carbide file. Uh, my father sent one of these to me this week. I've been asking for one for quite a while. Uh, very handy item. Obviously good for sharpening your uh, different types of blades like uh, garden shears and things like that. I thought it'd be perfect for our bolos. And the other nice thing about this is it makes a, a wonderful a wonderful striker it really throws the sparks off there pretty nice um, I'd have to highly recommend it though they're pretty low price and uh, a little hefty but um, has a lanyard hole on it pretty nice little item though just to throw in your in your kit I see a lot of the guys on the internet are using them for their strikers now so easy to get easy to use and completely dependable so I have to give it a thumbs up the Corona 5 inch super carbide file thanks that's all I have for you now hi welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors today I'm going to show you a couple little projects I've been working on I recently had our a friend of mine's truck was broken into and they took all our tools out of it and the jerks cut the seat belt on the uh, driver's side of the truck so I salvaged some of the strap from it and uh, this nylon type strap uh, really makes for some nice uh, sheaths uh, when you work with it you have to make sure you singe the top of it though or the edges of it because you just touch it and it just peels apart if you don't um, what I used to sew everything up is I used one of these uh, easy awls and uh, they, they work real nice um, 
I made this this is a, a neck knife and this is kind of an interesting little knife here this is an old Western very small hunting knife um, I had to grind this down it stuck way out to here and I ground this side down even but it it makes a real nice uh, little neck knife I put a little plastic liner inside the sheath and then just just sew down the uh, line it's hard to for me it's hard to, to sew a straight line I guess it's just practice but these uh, easy alls are very 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 handy and they just they have use real nice wax string so it's real strong so it just uh, fits in there just like that and then goes around your neck and uh, really really turned out nice uh, the first one that I made you can you can see my my, my sewing is pitiful I I tried to make a sheath for a Victor Knox uh, florist knife that I had but it turned out too big so I wound up putting in a Swiss Army knife in there Victor Knox works real nice uh, what I did with this one is I, I sewed it just like this and then turned it inside out so the seams are on the inside and then tied a clip on this end and on this end I sewed a clip on it and when you wear it and it clips on like that when you wear it it hangs down like that but also very handy I, I, I've never really cared for carrying a Swiss Army knife in my pocket because they're kind of bulky and I put a little lanyard on there too and I have a little teeny little teeny compass that I got from my grandpa long 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 time ago and this this easy all this was this was my grandpa grandpa's tool too he was an old sailor from the old uh, four masted sailing freighters uh, the last boat he was on was the Falls of Clyde it's a museum in, in Honolulu and then I always I got a little piece of foam here from a, a flip-flop I put that on there so when I put it in the, the bag this is all his all his sewing stuff I got a, a chunk of beeswax in here and a bunch of needles and some extra string things like that but uh, the seatbelt webbing makes for some pretty useful projects. Well, thank you for the for all the viewers and subscribers. And if you like the video, please click like. If you're not a subscriber, please click subscribe. And we just like to thank everybody and have a very nice day. Thank you. make cordage take a piece of plant fiber and just twist it just keep twisting it until it wants to twist over on itself like that then twist twist every time you twist just let loose of the, the loop a little bit and the other one will come right up to the top. It's very, very simple. That's the reverse twist method. What you wind up with is nice cordage. Very useful. Use that for a, a Paiute deadfall or for tying up a shelter or anything you want. Just takes a little bit of time. For the splice, all you do is take some more fiber, put it right up into the right up into the uh, joint there where you're at, and twist it together a little bit, twist it, roll it over, twist, roll over. very simple and by doing that you can make your cordage as long as you want just keep add more when this this other side gets down low you splice into that side in a matter of 20 or 30 minutes you should have four or five foot of cord no problem at all 
and it should wind up. And then you'll your splice will have a little a little piece sticking out like that. All you do is go back over with a knife or scissors and, and trim that out. You'll never even know it's there. Well that's all there is to the reverse twist method and with a splice. Thanks for watching.